<clears throat> All right, really. So we are uh, I'm gonna spectate this, or I'm not gonna spectate, but I'm gonna watch this and commentate for you what I was thinking and doing. Um, I'm gonna kind of have the sound. We'll see if. Uh, So I can hear it, but you guys can't. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this is our second game, or no, this is our first game. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can explain a lot of things. Well, I haven't, I haven't watched it. I watched the second game, so I kind of meant to pull that one up, but I guess I pulled this one up, but it should be fine. All right, go right here. I rewind that real quick. Go right there. When I saw that Jinx was solo, I knew Alistair was in the bush, so I went into the bush to run up, toss the ward down. That's usually, this is where they will they would be standing, so I knew that once I tossed the ward down, I could automatically start attacking since I'm ranged and it's Alistair, so I could do so per perfectly. So right here, you already kind of know, I already explained it a little bit yesterday. I was wondering what, what skills, what skill uh, Alistair started with, because if he started off with his headbutt, that means we can't initiate. If he starts off with the slam, we can initiate. Because of slam, I'm still there. I c and Jinx is going to come try to attack me while I'm stunned. So I'm going to cause the fight to come to me if he starts with slam. Which is what I kind of wanted. But um, I'll, I, but I had to find out so which skill he got first. A lot of Alistair's will start off with he headbutt first. That's the correct choice. But some people never know. He's not everybody. So you know, I just theorized that he would start off with headbutt. Or yeah, so I I wanted to make sure, so, you know I I start poking him and I I'm, I I I care less what Jinx is doing right now because they want to get level two and same with you, so what I'm trying to do is forcing him to use his skill, and at the same time I I try not to let Jinx get so close to me and when Jinx does get so close to me I I switch my target to to Jinx, see right right here I'm I'm attacking Jinx, and then bam I found out that he has headbutt so once I found out that he had he headbutt. I knew that you know we can't engage so I'm just gonna wait for level two and then re-explaining it you see where where I'm at right here I purposely went for Jinx because Jinx is really far away and if I got slammed Aster still has to run really far to get me and if he, you know, if he, if he hits me away, I'm just going to end up, you know, where I ended up, which is somewhere around over here, away from Jinx anyways. But if he starts a body slam, you're already right here in the position where you can start attacking Jinx. Because Jinx, Jinx is going to be roughly around here when she starts attacking. So, if I get body slam here, the minions are going to be turning on me. All I got to do is run down this way, cut off behind Alistair because it's a level 1 fight. He already uses pulverize if it was a pulverized, you know, if it was a body slam, whatever the hell it's called. So, you know, um, I can just easily run behind um, Alistair or behind this minion. I run this way and stun Jinx. And I would create a zone where she can't run this way. She can, but her best bet to escape would be this way. And that would separate Alistair and them. That's if, he, if Alistair started with the uh, uh, pulverize. And, and and right here right when it happened you know um i saw that you know he started off with headbutt so like i said it just it causes me to disengage which is exactly what i wanted if he went with the thing because I, I i personally didn't want to engage it but if he started with pulverized it would it would have been a perfect engage for us there's no canyon minions there's only these guys that would be on me but at the same time, I could just de aggro by going into the bush or or, or just t uh, touching or, or like, you know, um, stunning her or zoning her by running this way. I could zone her and you can easily already poke her. And I actually didn't think about your life. But then, you know, it's like you are more healthy than her. So you will win. Yeah, you have you have four and a half bars. She has basically four bars. So once that happens, you headshotted her, which is perfect, you know. And then I, 
Alistair calls me to disengage, which is perfect. And then you disengage. And then I was like, all right, now we know what what they have. And then this part, I was hoping, uh, uh, and then I was looking at, see how many minions we needed to level, hit level, how many minions we needed to hit level 2. And then I was like, oh, okay, I saw them hit level 2. So I was like, all right, so now we just need to play a little bit more passive. Because since he started with, 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 uh, with a headbutt, I know he's going to get pulverized next. So he can do his uh, his combo on us. That's why I walked backwards. You did not follow me. I should have like. It, it, these are the things that are really hard to communicate. But with my body language, you followed. I, I caused you to follow. So right here, I'm just trying to help you under the tower as much as I can. I'm not that great at this yet. Because I'm, I am running AD runes and masteries. So, yeah. I'm can't use that as an excuse but yeah well where I, i'm allowing him to keep using the pulverize only because he's gonna use a lot of mana and alistair uses a ton of mana let's see how much mana he has left yeah he only has left for one more combo and right there i was dumb i, I was out of position and i got hit if i didn't get hit i would have been fine like you know i was trying to life steal back or spell vent back but i was really too low i messed up our chances of, of of re-engaging and I, I noticed that Jinx just constantly uses her skills right there so I was like alright so so maybe we can engage and then I believe I get hit one more time yeah I get hit right here and then this is where I, I leave because I was like alright with that we, we cannot engage anymore I'm gonna fast forward a bit uh, I, I was just looking through what items to build and then I was like alright so I'm gonna rush Warren's mouth first because um, because I noticed that Jinx consistently used her skills to try to poke under the tower, which is a big no-no. Uh, you're one, you're wasting your mana and stuff. So I knew that she, like, if she lands that, she's gonna want to try to poke. So I wanted to just get tanky, like you know, knowing Jinx, if you don't max out your E, and plus her E wasn't hurting. Uh, so I theorized that she's not gonna be maxing that out. Uh, I didn't, it, I didn't prove my theory yet until later on, though. But I started creating the theory around this point like you know Alistair likes to poke with the headbutt body slam thing and he has he uses a lot of mana a, a Alistair in general uses a lot of mana and then Jinx likes to spam a lot of skills under the tower which uses a lot of mana so our opportunity now or what the cards we have to play with is is just let them poke us and then capitalize on it when they're out of mana Right there, I pinged because you asked if that was the right position. So right here, I knew Aster was coming. So my my point now is to show Aster and them that I'm good with landing my skill shots. I'm letting them know, don't poke us. Because if you do, I can land my shit on you. Uh, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Whew, excuse me. So, um, so this was a warning shot. But they didn't get the they didn't get the thing because you know if they don't poke us, then it'll, we will create a neutral thing. But after this, he landed it. Jinx came in, and Alistair was still pushing forward. So right there, I didn't want you to get hurt because you have no mana. If you have no mana, it means you can't escape. You don't have your web. That's the reason why I webbed you. And all the other times I, I or all, all the other times I didn't shield you yet because I didn't get my shield until level two new SP. So right here. You know, I'm 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 making sure I have bush control, and then the moment the Armenian starts to fade away, I I get away, I, I run away. You know, I, I we don't need the bush anymore. So right there, I I know she, like I'm still testing the damage out, and she's level four now. So level four, you should have level two or whatever. And um, so right there, I thought he was AFK because you know I went back in, he's not doing anything. Want to go check? I was like, oh shit, he he actually moved. So right there. So right there. All right. So um, let me go back and re, re explain what happened. So right here, I see that he's stuck in on on a trap. So I go in and, and just get get a little damage in, and I notice that you know he he's just tanking tanking it. So I was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna keep poking it, keep poking it. Same with you. I I believe I said I think he's AFK. And we, we start poking and, and the moment he comes out, the re, uh, I didn't shield you because I had already shielded. But 
what I noticed from Jinx was she tossed her traps like right here and he hit you over here. So you're not going to get trapped. So what I did was I had look at my position. I am I'm, I'm not, you know, running away from the fight. I'm doing as much damage as I can to him. I'm orb walking and at the moment he runs away, I see Jinx Jinx and Alistair is going to swap. So with this, I wanted to jump on Jinx, but since Alistair was slow, Whoever I land my binding on, which I have right here, oops, uh, stupid thing, which I have my um, binding at my my soil soil left, which is my DPS item or skills, I'm gonna if whoever I land it on, we're gonna go on, and I even have ignite too, so I follow them. I hoped that we would land it on Jinx right here because Aster is technically out of the fight now. If he comes in, we, we'll kill him anyways. If he doesn't, uh, we kill Jinx. Because I, I have Ignite too. And, you know, um, this is all due to my positioning of, of the fight, you know. They're all going against you. I made sure that if they disengage, which I knew they would, they're going to have to run through this way. Because they, they don't want to run through this way. Everybody wants to run through Bush to Diago. Everybody. And right here, J what Jinx does is, Jinx attacks me and look at everybody. Everybody turns. Canyon Man is about to turn. Came in turn, started attacking Jinx. Look at how much life Jinx lost. And I noticed that I landed my binding on Alistair. So I automatically, uh, that was a bad move of me right there. I, I ignited so low. I should have just let you take it. But what he did was he, he exhausted me, which is stupid too. So right there, if you see all the, all, all of our minions now are chasing them. And we caused the fight over here in our territory, under our turns. So, you know, their minions are not going to aggro into us to chase. Once Aster dies, I, I just walk walk the exhaust off, and I, I go and bully Jinx out of, the, out of the lane. I run over here. I know that she's not, she doesn't see me, and she sees me now. So, I shoot. I shot that, thinking it would land on her, and then the moment I saw her dodging, I know, I knew that she understood how to dodge. So... Later on, you'll, you'll see me use it as bait. So right here, I'm, I'm auto-attacking her, letting her hit me and stuff. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to, um, right here. All right. So what you did right there was, was very good. You saw that. All right. So what I did here, she, a new minion was coming. She knows I'm in here. She knows that, you know, it's just one-on-one -on -one for me and her. And I have no mana. Maybe she thought that I didn't have mana and she could capitalize on it. But, what I did here was, I, I made sure she knew I was in here, so if she engaged, I can engage on her, and hopefully you would, this is good on your part, you followed up, so, later, I knew she was coming in, so I'm gonna go get my free auto attack, got my free auto attack out, you are still nowhere in sight, I, you run in, into the bush, and this is where you see me, and so, I auto attack her, and I run away towards you, because all the minions are coming, so I need to get to another bush to de-aggro. And right here, I see that she was going to shoot it. I kind of thought I could dodge it this way because I thought she was going to shoot it this way. But it was really too late there. So what I did right here, what you did was you saw that we we're going to fight. So what I wanted to do, I looked at my cooldowns and I saw it very up. Well. I wanted to get right here so I could shoot it straight down at her and snare and then flash over here. That's what I wanted to do. That's why I turned on fire, and I saw you running in, so I, I was like, I knew we were going to win this fight. So the moment I run away over there, you web to a greater position. You know, you got into the bush, you didn't get any aggro for the minions, they're all on me. And you're right in front of Jinx, so you could just kite her, kite her down. So right here, I run to the bush, I get all the minions de-aggro me. This minion might get me because he's going to, he might cut cut the bush, but I didn't, I didn't really worry about here anymore. Jinx still had the her barrier up and you are in your best position to fight because of your passive it's doubled up so you know you're fighting she barriers and the way she flash she flashes over there I pretty sure she wanted to try to kill me and right there yeah she tries to kill me so what I did was uh, what you needed to do was step out of the bush so I could step in and lose vision but then what I did was I ran to you and I knew she's running into the bush. So I shot my dark binding this way. Landed it. 
Once I landed it, I just ran away because I know I knew you could finish it. And then right here, I aggroed, and I was like, no. But then the moment I got into the bush, you know, it de-aggroed, and we won. So it was it was a good a good uh, positioning. We over we outpositioned her, even though she should have she should have won. But yeah, we outpositioned her. And then right here, I'm just telling you, you know, I'm just trying to push. All right, so we're gonna fast forward a bit. Right here, I get my warning smell. Watch what happens in to the lane after I get my warning smell. Fast forward a bit. Now I could explain the whole game, like you know what what I'm looking at and stuff too, but that that'll come on at another time if you're interested. But right here, I'm just teaching how to, how I play Morgana support. Yeah, I I, I totally fell. <laughs> I got one <laughs> one CS. Oh, sorry. I got one CS. All right, so right here, I see that you're coming in, and I see she's just solo. I I know Alice is somewhere around. Um, so what I do is, you know, I, I just don't face check, and then I believe right here I chilled myself, thinking Alice is gonna be in here. And then w once I check it, and I see that Alice is not in there, I was like, oh, she's solo. So I I go ahead. Yeah, and I, I pinged the MIA because Aster was solo. So right here, I I wanted to keep the minion around this wave. This is our zone to fight because, um, or our zone to CS because right here, it's, the tower is not going to get it. You're going to get all the XP. But there, you know, I see that she keeps using her skills. I, I just pay no real attention. And right here, I, I, I go warding. I, I let you do your 1v1. right there you're just asking to freeze so right here I saw that where Alistair was and I saw where Jinx was and I could engage and you could fall in but at the same time it would cause a split I'd be from the backside you'd be in the front side they'll be both on you and you'll be the you'll be the main target so um so that's the reason why I was like all right so I think that Ricky is going to be able to deal with this because, you know, ideally, I don't want, you don't want this, you know, you don't want to be behind the enemy, so that, uh, chasing the enemy, where the enemy is chasing your, your ADC. So, I, I took the risk, because I was like, alright, I have Warden Smell, if I pop up on the side, one or two things going to happen. They're probably going to go for me, because I'm away from the tower, or they're going to go away from, or go on you. And if they go on you, they don't really necessarily have an escape route, because I'll, I'll, I'll be flanking from behind, and they can't tower dive, because they're not 6 yet. So, and I saw, and I saw that I was about to hit 6, so I, I kind of hoped that I would hit 6 in, during the, the, the CS. So I come through here, I show myself, and Jinx gets scared and starts running away, and, and Aster comes over. So Aster comes over, and I shoot, and I'm running over here, but I shoot my biting at Aster, hoping to get him, but it missed. And then right here, Aster stops me and I'm tossing my tormented soul over here and that's where I lagged I tossed my tormented soul there and then you know I see that she tossed her traps so I, I said I remember I said let me uh, put up the volume I said uh, alright she tossed her traps we're gonna fight again very soon she used her traps we can engage in that yep I did say she used her traps we can engage in that so and I saw she shot her E as well, and I see Alistair keeps chasing chasing us. So I only needed one or two more minions left, two of the two of these guys probably, and or one of him. So I knew that I was about to get six, and I knew Jinx didn't have flash anymore. She used flash right, you know, a couple seconds ago or the last fight. And Alistair, he might have flash, but that's all he has, you know, and and exhaust. And, and if I put myself on the front line, he's gonna exhaust me. So right here, I'm waiting to hit 6. I believe I hit 6 right here. The moment I hit 6, I was like, alright, we can go engage. Alistair has just pulverized us. And the cooldown for pulverize is longer than headbutt. So, I level up. And then I position myself to where I want to I wanna fight. I see that there's a war here, but it, did, it didn't matter. Because I knew that they were going to come back anyways. 
So right here, you know, I get hit and I, I go back into the bush and I position myself to go engage because Aster's not six. Jinx has no summoners. Well, sh she might have barrier by now, but and you're healthy and you're a long ranger. So what I do is I get into the bush. Alistair sees it, and Alistair wants to come stop me. He starts. He he tosses the ward to, to grant me vision, and I get my free auto attack in on that. And Jinx was running away, and then she turns around because Alistair is about to engage on me. And what you did was you did a great job. You're engaging on me right here as well. You're coming in to help me out. So right here. I see the Alistair comes in and I create and I there's double wards there so I want to run over here where they I where they have vision but then it's gonna cause Jinx to come chase at us now we're engaging on this guy right here and I'm pro I'm, I'm prolonging Jinx's engagement or join in so I land the thing and I toss the binding right here to do more damage to the, the front line I get knocked up I don't want to use my uh, shield and then what I do here is I shield myself afterwards so that I don't get trapped because right now I'm about to ulti the moment I saw Jinx right here I could have flashed in and ulti but what I did was I, I just ran in because I think she tossed her traps right here I'm not sure um, I'm running in and I'm gonna ulti right here I ulti and I knew this guy was dead so I went back in to grab her and then all I have to do now is run away and let you do your job because he is low. So right here, I'm 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 about to get my binding and I believe I shoot it backwards. Yes. And I miss it, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, all I, all my job was to just run away and let you do everything because you got the kill and you got the double kill right there. That's exactly how what I was doing and, and what what I was thinking right there. Now let's look back, see if she actually tossed her traps down. No, she didn't. She didn't toss her traps down. Pro well, like like I said, I w I didn't know I didn't I don't know the the timer of her traps off the bat, but I, I knew she would have used it, you know, right before I turned six. And I said we're gonna engage because she's gonna use it, you know. And you did a good job aiming for him first to to knock out the CC. He was really low anyways. I would have killed him with my binding anyways, but because of, because you you killed him, there was less DPS on me, and I I, I survived the fight. And if you saw me, like, you know, alright, so right there, it said spell me, meaning he, he headbutted me, again, to try to knock me away. It, it wouldn't have mattered, but the damage would have been significant to where I, I would have probably died. So, going back to here, this is, this is why I shield myself after I get stunned. Right about here. I, I, I take this, pulverize, and then I shield myself, because I knew that. He didn't use his headbutt combo. So I shield myself and look look how long my shield lasts to stop all that CC. It stopped, it stopped, well, it, it wasn't all that CC, but it, it stopped uh, Alistair's knockback. Stopped him and I just ran off. Alright, so we're going to fast forward through that. Right here, I think you're just, uh, okay. Alright, so right here, I see... I, I, I don't know where Trundle is, that's why I'm, I'm falling backwards, and then he pops up, I don't know when he pops up, he pops up right here, I see that he's low on mana, he's level 6, he could, he could probably kill us, but I see that, you know, I'm, I'm gaining life again, so what I do is, I was like, alright, so let's, let's test this Trundle, it's the first time we've seen this Trundle down here, let's test how good he is, so I, I'm auto attacking, and then right here, I, after, when I went in for the auto attack and I took you to fall back, I saw that he's going to cast his, his thing. So he casts it right, right in front of you. So right here, what happens? Well, you were supposed to run this way. <laughs> I instantly, I saw that he was going to come down. So I instantly snared him and I tossed my tormented soul. And then right here, yeah, that's all that happened. That was, that was all that mattered. It would have been a lot better if you just ran through this way, but... It, it was what it was and I knew that once that happened he's gonna run at us and when he ran at us it's all our uh, it's all all of our minions so you know my binding is gonna land no matter what right there my body is gonna land no matter what I'm right here all I have to do is shoot it right there and you see where my mouse is I 
click backwards auto to to auto attack and pretty much to auto attack and use Q at the same time same time because when you know my when you auto attack someone you have to put your mouse on top of them or near them and right click and once I right click since I'm smart casting I just Q because I'm gonna auto attack I'm gonna land the auto attack because I already named uh, I already clicked on his name and then the Q will fly instantly where my cursor is so it was it was pretty much a guarantee land and that that it is that is what it is so right here he he died and we're auto attacking and stuff and I see Alistair coming he's still five I'm seven my cooldowns are about to come up uh, I still have flash and you are out of mana but you are still very healthy and you have red now so what I did was we, we fell back I went into the bush well I, I think I was gonna go to the bush but I guess not but so right here I was gonna poke him anyways to stop him from from coming but I saw that he stepped on the trap so when he stepped on the trap you notice what I did I sidestepped so that I wouldn't hit these minions and I shot my thing at him it landed I tossed my soil on top of him it does a shit ton of damage so right here I actually thought that he was gonna run over over here to escape but yeah so so that's why I walked over here to get the kill in case you couldn't get the kill um, but I, di I didn't expect I didn't take into uh, consideration him using his freaking uh, slam because obviously I, I didn't see him use a slam I should have taken into consideration it was just me being lazy now and then I see this shit that shoots at me and once that shoot shoots at me like I was like oh fuck I'm, I'm dead you know towers about tower just hit me and it's about to hit me again so right here I shield myself and I'm still alive but right here like I could have ran off already but um but yeah uh I thought I was dead so that's why I didn't necessarily run off and right there I was already dead anyways but it was it was whatever And then right here, I upgrade that for more harassment. <sighs> but this is pretty much downhill now. Like, uh, we are now just going to snowball the fuck out of this lane. Ooh, sorry, my food's getting cold. So I have, I was asking you about that pink, but I see that they're coming, so I want them to engage on you, thinking that you're solo. Plus, give me a solo lane, you'll you'll even become more strong than they are. I'm I'm fine where I'm at with my items and my level. There, there, as long as I'm not falling behind Alistair, I'm, I'm I should be fine. So right here, I'm just waiting. Uh, I see that. I see that, you know, they didn't follow, so that's why I came out. But bad thing about Oscar, I didn't see him coming up. But you know, when he came up, anyways, I reacted to that. I shielded myself in case Jinx was gonna slow me down, and I tossed my my um thing down, hoping it would catch, but it didn't. So I was just like, whatever. And if you saw all that damage to me, it didn't do anything. And we did a ton of damage to uh, Aster. Right, I'm just creating zone. So here, what I did was I purposely ran away from them to make them think that I went to mid. Uh, but really, I'm just gonna go ward. I, I'm not an AP carrier. I'm not a killer. It's not my job to go defend that tower. So yeah. So right here, you know, I knew it was warded. So I, I decided to come in for the fight at that angle so that it would happen. So right here, I see where Alistair is. I see where Alistair is and uh, <laughs> I see you messed up there. Let me rewind it. So, so I'm coming down. I remember I was calling for you. I right, we're gonna engage because they're gonna chase you. 
and I was I, right now, right right here. What, what I was doing was I was looking. I clicked the mini map, and I was actually looking at right here on my mini map to see if they act, if my me leaving to pretend to go to mid would would cease the the pressure in mid, but it didn't. So I just came back down. I looked at them, and I see that they're chasing me. So I'm gonna wait until they chase over here, so that when I come, we're gonna be fighting right here. Even though it's a bad positioning, bad positioning, I have a lot of armor. And I'm going to be the front line that they're going to quote unquote try to kill. So one, once I pop up here, I know they're going to try to run away because there's a ward right here. I saw them ward it. So I, I automatically run. When I run, kind of hope this minion wouldn't turn around. and Because I, I, I wanted to shoot my thing there. But I saw that he used all this on me. Shopping backers. I got hit what, by all the, all the cooldowns. I should have shielded earlier. That was a stupid shield right there. But right there, I. The reason why I did this is because Alistair is gonna try to turn around and fight you now, and what you're doing is you're about to shoot a Q at, at her. But what she's gonna do? She's gonna run over here to get away from my circle because they see the, my circle as well. Well, she dies anyways. But then Alistair pops her his ulti and then turns around and he's gonna be guaranteed stunned. I see that. I saw her animation for her ulti, so I I, I dodge it. And right there, she's automatically out of my thing. He's gonna get stunned. So he got stunned. And I and what I do is I just constantly run. And if you see me do right here, I, I toss a ward. I see that I have one ward down left. And I toss a ward down so that when I chase into this bush, we're gonna see him. And I, I'll, I'll know when to sw swap back into the bush. He's auto attacking. You did a good slow there, but it, 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 it delayed your dude. What, what he did was very smart as well. He tossed the ward down. So that he can see where I'm at, and then right here he he gave up. And once once I saw the word, I, I knew that you know I was gonna quote unquote die. But right here I saw that he gave up, so I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna run back into the bush where uh where there's no vision. But you know I, I thought that since he gave up, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and chase him to get my biting since he's about to come up from cooldown. He comes up, and yeah, you just kill him right right before uh, he can do anything. And right here, Chono comes back, and I'm, I'm like, you know, you know what? We 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 might we might be able to kill him. And I was like, nah, let's not let's not do it. I think we we back off. Yeah, I back off. So right here, I'm about to buy. I buy my boots finally because um, right about this time, I I need the mobility when I use my ult and stuff. And. Right here, the reason why I didn't get magic resist is because I don't need the magic resist. There's no sort of hardcore magic damage on the bot, and I would benefit from the mana regain, then whatever. You know how to build. So I'm still running down. So right here, I'm just allowing her to constantly poke me and, uh, and, and, and hit me, because it doesn't really do any, any damage, and I, could, I, I don't really care about it anymore but right here you see what I'm doing I, I'm I'm become super hyper aggressive because I know that we're 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 way ahead plus my ulti is about to come up and I was smart this time I shielded myself so that I wouldn't get knocked back for anymore and I knew that they had already used their their um they had already used her flash, but this is the part where I was talking about where I cut her off, and I knew she understood how to dodge my Q. So, what I did was I cut her off this way, running down this way, to make sure that she thinks I'm going to con constantly shoot my Q. If she thinks I'm going to shoot my Q, if she runs forward, I'm guaranteed going to gonna hit her because I'm running forward too. But if she wants to try juke it, she's going to consistently run this way, and that's exactly what she did. And since I'm stunned or I'm shielded, he's not going to come for me. He's going to come for you. And if he comes for you, all he does is one hit uh, the combo because he's not going to time it correctly. He's going to do both of it at the same time, which is kind of stupid. Um, uh, you're going to be away. He's going to be away. It's going to be me and Jinx. And you can e easily come back to, to me. So right here, I tormented the soil where she's going to go because it, it would damage her. And I see that she runs away. 
So once she runs, runs away, I, I keep auto attacking, thinking or making her think that you know I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot my my thing. And then once I saw that she ran on top of my tormented soil and she made the full effort to just run for it, that's when I tossed my tormented soil for a guaranteed hit, or not tormented soil, my binding for a guaranteed hit. And this is when, oh no, I guess he didn't do full combo on you. He stomp stomped you and then he hit me backwards, which. Which is perfect, you know, he, she's standing, she's taking a ton of damage from me right now. Bam, she is worried you're attacking him, which is good. And the moment right here, I, I yep, right there, what it says, I use my soul shackles because she's going to get hit no matter what. And this guy can't escape anymore. Bam, I soul sack shackle, it does a ton of damage to him. He's chasing you, he's going to get out of it, you run out, but I'm going to get this chick. I see that they use a flash, and I, and I just run forward I kind of hope that it uh that you would actually just keep going forward over here but since you went for Alistair I I, I didn't want to dive anymore because I wanted I wanted to dive and kill her because Alistair is in insignificant uh but then I see that you're going over there so I, I see that once I see that and I get hit with that I automatically fa flash up because I'm completely out this is completely not our fight anymore we got a big ass troll running our way and he's going to be running fast as fuck all the way up to here. So what I do is I flash somewhere around here. Once I hit, get hit with that. I go ahead and toss a little bit more damage so that Jeans can't come to us. Get hit with that. Toss the Dark Binding out. And right there I knew. Or well I didn't know but then Jinx attacked me once. And I knew I would survive that hit. But I was kind of hoping Jinx wouldn't follow me. Because she would kind of think that you know she could instant kill me or with one more hit but you know like i said i have a warning well. i have armor and then right here is just trying to be hella hungry so right here i i just run and i even stop to kind of like fake it out and yeah and i just call for leblanc and that's how we we survived that fight uh it would have been better if you uh well yeah that that's just the explanation of the fight. All right, so <laughs> this is me just talking. And I'm sitting at base. I was like, yeah, I'm just standing there for a little long. All right, so I'm running in now. So we're here. This is, I believe, this is where we where we die and we fight. Uh, we fight Blanc. So I'm, I shield myself because I was I wanted to go in, but then you know you guys called a hey, Chundos over here to go kill him. So what I did there is you know I tossed my binding in case it hit him, and then when Alistair came, I turned around and, and make sure Alistair didn't come, so you guys could kill him. But uh, I don't think you guys killed him. Yeah, he made it he made it out alive. So what I did here is I ran over there. I saw that you know. They were tossing all their shit, and I, once I saw this, I knew this, they were going to try to either engage or disengage, so I just run off. I go ahead and ward the side, and I see that they have a pink there, but I'm just like, whatever. We could we could, we could, could drag it right now. And watch. This is this is where, this is the point where I was telling B, like, we could have won the, um, we, we, we could have gotten dragon. But, uh, alright, so right here, when I look down, when I pan down, and I see Chondo over here, and I see that you're fine. Um, Alistair may engage on you, but like you're healthy enough to where you can escape. So right here, I see Chondo come, and me and Lux, we, we do what what B should have done was just stick on Dragon, but me and Lux did what we what we were meant to do, which is stop any sort of initiation of the Dragon. <laughs> we shoot our, I should have shot it this way. Forgot he could go through through shit, but yeah, he just. Clung, clung onto the wall and stop that and I toss my tormented soil so that you know he'll, he'll take damage and then you know we go back and drag in and I see that he's coming back in so and I look where you're at and then I pretend like I'm gonna run away and I automatically and I create a zone so I see these two guys coming at us Trundle's gonna want to come this way Alistair's gonna want to come this way so what I do is I want to position myself this way so that if I can catch both of them with my with my uh Soul shackles, my ulti. And I go ahead, position them right here, and then Trundle turns around, and they're about to fight me. 
So right here, I go ahead, once Trundle got too far away from me, I went ahead and used my Soul Shackles because it's going to cause them to run away. Either run, Alistair is going to run this way or, or, or towards me. Pretty sure he doesn't want to because if he runs towards me, he's going to get so, Soul Shackled. The only way he can escape is down this way. The only way this guy's going to escape is up this way. So I caused him to, to run, run to his death. What Alistair did there was, was kind of bad, but like I said, he was going to run down there anyways. Right here, B and, B and Lux should have kept on attacking Dragon, but because I, I knew you and I had it. So I knew I had the Soul Shackle. I'm going to, um, right when I, right when I stunned him, I, I, was, I binded him, and then I saw this guy come up. This guy come up right here, right when I saw these three guys, I was like, all right, we, don't, we can't fight because we're too far away. LeBlanc can instant kill us. I show myself and I just I we just we just completely disengage and we won the fight we took it and that, that was it So right I, I had already thought we, we killed dragon so yeah So right here I knew that they had the pink here that's why I, I called for it I was like I did there's a pink there So we kill it and you tell me that towers one hit I attack it once and think that, thinking that's gonna be enough damage, but it is what it is. So right here we had taken the, the the tower. What we and I see that you know top lane I don't need to rotate up there to help him. Mid lane I don't need to rotate to help help her. And then yeah, this is me B. This is me yelling at B. I was like, dude, I I freaking uh I zoned them all out. And then right here Trundle's coming in. I stop him, and yeah, we just take all of it right here. I thought he was going to go for me, that's why I showed him myself, but I see that he goes on you, and right here, I can't follow and save you guys anymore, because I'm just going to die, and if I die, I can't even save, I can't save you guys, so I see that Lux takes out LeBanc, and then there's only Trundle left, so I come back into the fight, I make sure I stop Alistair, and then that's all I do, because that's all I can do, and I, I loop around to help you guys, instead of running under below you guys, I go ahead and loop around, and right here I see that Lux is out of mana, so I go ahead and tank this for her. Thinking she would actually do, uh, take it down a lot quicker, and then, you know, I'm over here, and I see that she's still kind of struggling. So I was just like, uh, I should go help her again. Fast forward a bit. So right here, I'm, we're just pushing the lane. I see that she's by herself. Um, this, I, I remember calling Asters up there, so I'm gonna allow you to do whatever you do, and I'm gonna go warding. Uh, right there, I should have warded that instantly, and I told you uh, I'm not gonna ward that because you know we're gonna we're gonna be able to see their inst them coming in anyways. So I go ahead and ward uh, Bush over there, and the reason and you know she sees me, but the reason why I don't ward this part is because we already have a ward there. The reason why I don't ward this part is because this ward will cover this entrance, these two entrances. Which is a lot better. So here I, I see that we have red, and I believe there's going to be a team fight here. Um, yeah, I go ahead and toss that thing and it hit Trundle, but it, it went ahead and hit um, Labad. So I, I showed it her so she could run out of that slow. And Alistair right here, he sees me. So I was going to loop around, but then, yeah, they're there. So I stayed here, I stood here in case they wanted to fall, fall on their back. There and I w rewarded it. So I see that Lux wants to do something, and I'm rotating around, and because they see me here, and Lux, uh, and Jinx was out of position. So I shielded myself. That would have landed on her anyways. I shielded myself, hoping that um, I shielded myself hoping that you know I, I wouldn't get snared. But right here, like if you see where I toss it, she had no more escape. Um, it yeah, it could have hit this minion, but when I the way I tossed it, if she juked backwards. I would have been been able to bind her it, right there where she was where she flashed this is where her position was and she flashed over here so my binding would have hit her um, if she had juked it this way I would have been in position to uh, bind her and flash with her so what she did was was a really good job of flashing and avoid avoiding to die and then right here I'm just with you we're, we're pushing it pushing it hard and I think this is where we start messing around with it under the tower. I see that Trundle's coming in. 
So, you know, we call the retreat, and Trundle tosses that out for a vision, like you said. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go mess with them, but I was just like, no, don't need to. I knew they had a ward where this is, so they they know that I'm roaming around up here. So what are you doing right now? And you just asked what I'm doing right here, was I was hoping to cut Trundle off if he went this way, and hoping he'd think I go this way, because, you know, they're all they're, they're taking the tower. But Trundle went ahead and went this way. So what I did was I followed Trundle because my guys are up there anyways. And I see that B and Lux are running away. So I can come back and help you bot. And you're right here. We're pushing it. Guys. Where was it? I saw that she, she was auto-attacking me. Yeah, I thought she was auto-attacking, so it was going to be a guaranteed uh, biting land. I actually didn't think you were going to kill her. And right here, yeah, I wanted to attack him. But I was like, you know what, it's a Riven. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to risk it. Alright, so, fast forward a bit. Buy my items. Don't need to explain that. So right here, I'm starting Dragon. The reason why I'm starting Dragon is they're all up top. They're on the top side. Don't know where Trundle is, but, you know, you and I know. Oh, yeah, well, Trundle was top, yeah. Uh, so I let you solo Dragon because I'm not going to do any damage anyways, any significant damage. I can't help you take it down faster, so I go ahead and start warding since the guys in the middle started disappearing. And then I see that Jinx starts running by, and I start warding in case people are coming in. I knew that ward is done, and when I get Jinx here, I shield myself because... You know, she would most likely toss her stuff backwards so she could run past me and stuff. But she started running for it, and it was just, yeah, she just dies here. And and this is all me creating plays due to knowing my, my limits, knowing my power of this champion, knowing how far ahead I am of these. I'm just bullying these guys now. You know, I, I did that in the laning phase, and now that's what I'm doing outside of the laning phase with Jinx. And right there, I I took it I, I took the damage so that the can, uh Kang Ming wouldn't get hit. Uh, it, it'll be like one or two more hits. Uh, more healthy. Right here, I leave you to Trundle and I go Ward. I try to get that position that position because this is both both places. So right here, I shield myself. And right, here, I did, actually didn't think that I was gonna instant die by him, but <laughs> but yeah. So right there, it would have been a, a, a like right here. When Trundle when Trundle initiated, and I saw look, I saw Blanc here, which was fine. I wanted I wanted her to jump on me so I could bind anyways. But I actually I actually this is me thinking that I'm too far ahead, and I forgot that she's AP. So I wasn't building AP, you know, um, resistances at the, at this time. So it was just me being overconfident. I snare him, knowing that he's not gonna be a threat anymore to you. So I run back in and I do my soul shackles. Once I do my social shackles, I'm the I'm the full target. You're you're attacking freely. And you get the Q right off LeBlanc. It does a shit ton of damage to her. And you auto attack twice. And this is where you almost die. And then you uh run forward to try to get auto attack. You can't do it, so you just wipe back back and LeBlanc was dumb enough to uh run forward. Oh, she got trapped. She died to the trap or and the web, and you're just running, and then think that's where you died to Jinx Salt. Nope, you did. You didn't die to Jinx Salt. But look what you did. Yeah, you did. If you didn't queue, if you didn't queue, but yeah. Fast forward a bit. Uh, notice I didn't complete my uh things because one. We don't need it. I don't necessarily need it for Morgana. I have a ton of zone already, and that's just an extra zone. But I already have Mikhail's, so I don't want to overdo it. You know, I have items in which I, I'm not gonna use. So right here, I, I thought you were gonna return to the lane and start CSing by, but like you know, it was my bad and my part. I was like, oh shit, you guys are all mid. All right, let me come, let me come to you guys. And I looked at Dragon Summer right there. And right here, um, I see that you guys are all lined up here. I see where Riven is. So if I run up here, they're just going to run off. So what I did was 
like I said, I'm going to go create a play. I'm ahead, and I'm in the position to do so. I'm saving level as LeBlanc, by the way. So I run through here. I, I know if even if it's warded, you guys, they and they see me, they're still going to have to meet me up over here. So run over here, and I see that. I see that Jinx was low, and I already saw you ulti him. So I get right here, and I'm facing four people, right? So right here, I could have just soul shackled, but I knew I was going to get hit. Uh, I actually thought I was going to get stunned by here, but I didn't think he would, uh, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I thought he was, I was going to get stunned by Riven. I didn't think I was going to get, um, uh, knocked back by him. That's why I flashed it. Um, let, let's rewind it. And I, I try to flash the, um, the, the pulverize. I actually thought he was going to pulverize, not headbutt. It would have been a lot smarter to have it. So this is where I flash forward and I get hit towards this way. See, I flashed and I landed here. And since he headbutted me, I fly this way anyways. Right in front of her. So I go ahead and soul shackles. I actually thought I was going to get uh, this guy too. But the reason why I soul shackles is this guy's going to die. And I'm going to get Riven. Guaranteed. Those are the two people I want the most. And I go ahead and toss that so she dies. And I have to worry about Riven now. And you see, Riven's coming from the top side. You guys are all falling in. And I'm the only one here doing because I created the play. And and I caused them to, to fight me. And then, you know, um, whatever. Jinx is dead. So we guarantee have this fight. Riven's coming in from LeBlanc. LeBlanc's not going to try to kill me. She's trying to run away now. She all scared. She did that. And you uh, don't know what the fuck. Oh, that's, that's Beast fucking Rocket. I was like, wait, Jinx ultied? From that side, but yeah, B B misses. You shoot your Q, and oh no, you ulti her. So, all right. So yeah, you guys, you guys go ahead and take out that threat, and then you know, right here, yeah, Chono can fall back on you guys. But look at Chono's level compared to, compared to you guys. So I already knew I was I was safe over here. And once this slow came up, I just went ahead and showed myself so I can keep keep my vision or keep the sun on them. But driven. Being so mobile, just runs away. I don't know. I guess I got him. And right here, I go ahead and take the tower because I wanted Riven and them to, to stack up on it. But but you know you you three right here didn't go on it, so I was like, wait, all right. So well, I guess and you took like you went ahead and was like, oh yeah yeah, I, I can, that's what Yang's doing. So you know we we trade turrets. We got a little extra thing in right there. The reason why I shot it this way is because. I knew Aster was gonna go try to help Riven. Bam! I landed the, the snare, and I and I'm auto tanking and I'm or walking the tower to go and help be help Riven because this guy just ulted, meaning he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna go join that fight. Bam! He joined the fight. He runs back towards our way, and right here I'm just I'm just hiding him with auto attacks. Like it, yeah, it doesn't do much damage, but it's. It is what it is, you know. I'm 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 I I'm staying in position. And right here, I yeah I I ping you know, Alistair because I want to kill him and I knew my biting was coming up. So we get we get knocked up here, and I see that he run he runs over there. So I was just like you know what whatever. Right there, Trundle. I actually thought he was gonna run this way, um to join um Alistair earlier, but he juked it by running into a, like a like a like an in, yeah, he ran like an in. he tossed that there, and right here, I shielded myself, and I should have just Mikhail's myself, but this is where I die, because Trundle kills me, and uh, uh, Riven's doing a great job, you guys are doing a perfect job staying back there, and I'm doing a pretty good job staying in, right in the middle, because you guys don't need appeal, because we're keeping all the frontliners around us, right there, they, they attack me over there, and... Since I get pushed away from the team, I automatically die. Alright, you guys just clean up. B's just doing weird shit. And you did a good job focusing the part person you need to focus. And then I go ahead and finish my spell thief. Because it's it's like, you know, we're going to be pushing for the win anyways. And I think this is where you guys end it. Yeah, you guys end it here. And that that's it. So, yeah, that was the, that's commentating for that game. It took an hour. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully you learned a lot. If you have any questions, let me know, man. Later.